Hello. Today's project is a little different. Every year we set resolutions of what we're going to do the following year. Well, last year, my resolution was to get into my projects, my unfinished projects, and finish them. And hopefully by the end of the year, I knew I wouldn't have them finished because there's so many of them, but I would have a good few of them, good many of them finished. Didn't quite work out like that. January 1st, I finished a quilt and it's hanging right here in the shop above my head. January 2nd, I finished a quilt. They were pretty much along the way, so it wasn't a whole lot to do to them, but it, but it was work. So I got those two done. Well, then on January 3rd or January 4th, whenever it was we opened back up after the new year, people started bringing quilts in. Well, then I started seeing different quilts I wanted to do. So I was adding quilts to my stash. So now, instead of getting quilts out from under me that I wanted to have finished, I was started adding to them. So I never did finish that goal last year. And I know there's so many of them that I won't even finish them this year, but I have a goal of finishing more than just two this year. So we're gonna start with this one today. I reached into my unfinished projects and here is one that I'm gonna work on. This one is a Peanuts quilt. And if you know me, you know I love Charlie Brown and the crew. So this is what we're working on this time. I had already cut a whole bunch of half square triangles and a whole bunch of white half square triangles. And what I was making was half square triangles. I mean squares with the half square triangles. So I already had these stashed made. That one doesn't go in there. So there's that. There's a bunch of these. One side is white, one side is colored. And I had this with it because this is going to be my backing for the quilt. I do know that. But other than that, I haven't got it done. So my goal right now is to finish all these half square triangles into this state and then make it to a quilt top. So stay with me, we'll do it together. So let's go to the sewing machine and get started. The first step after cutting all of these triangles is you're gonna make two stacks. You're gonna make a stack of white triangles and you're gonna make a stack of printed triangles. Now my, my stack here looks like a, a big mess, but it's not really. I don't want them stacked up to where all of one print is together because I don't wanna keep continually sewing the same ones together. I want it mix matched. So I wanna pick one of these and I'm gonna pick one of these and I'm gonna pick one of these so that when I sew them together, they're gonna to be miscellaneous through the stack and not all of one print together so that I can just grab them and sew them, grab them and sew them on the next step. So I'm gonna take one print and I'm gonna take one white and I'm gonna put them right sides together, lining them up. I'm gonna take them to the sewing machine and I'm gonna sew a quarter inch down this long side of the triangle. So I'm gonna do a quarter inch seam allowance. And when I get to the end, I'm just gonna leave it alone and I'm gonna string piece them and cut them apart at the end. So I've got that one almost done. I'm gonna grab another one, right sides together, line it up. Sew it together. Grab another one. They like to stick together. Sew it together at the quarter inch seam. And I'm gonna keep doing this until I've run out of my white squares and run out of my printed, I mean my white triangles and the printed triangles. I don't know how many I did because like I said, I started this project years ago. So I don't know how many there are here, how big I needed the quilt or wanted the quilt at the time, but I'm gonna make it until I run out of these and see how big it gets. And that's how big I'll make it. However many I've got print enough for, that's how big I'll make the quilt. 
So we're gonna keep going by sewing these together. Stay with me here and I'll keep doing this and then I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. One thing I do wanna add real quick is I cut my triangles into, it was a six inch square, and then I cut it across the center to make it the triangle. So these were six inch squares that I cut up. You can make this pattern any size you want. You can cut these into four inch squares, five inch squares, six inch squares, 10 inch squares. It doesn't matter. This pattern will still be the same. You just cut it the size you want it, minor six inches. Now that we've got them sewn together like this, we're gonna take them to the ironing station and we're gonna iron them open. And I iron them to where the seam is on the dark side. So I don't want the seam over here showing through the white. Then I'm going to do it again until my stack is gone. bore you with this step so I will come back to you in just a minute I'm just going to keep doing this until I am done with all of these units and they're ironed flat like this once we've got all of our squares sewn together we're going to cut off this little hangover right here and this one here we're going to go through this whole stack you can line them up at the cutting table and uh, use a rotary cutter to cut them or you can just sit here and use scissors and cut all those off. Once we get all these cut off, we'll start sewing them together. Now we've got our squares and their the little ends of them are cut off. We're all ready to start sewing together. So we're going to take our first two and we're going to put them together like this. So I'm going to sew those two together. Then we're going to take it out of the sewing machine, open it up, and it's going to look like this. We'll press it in just a minute, but that's the first one. The next one we're gonna take is whatever two other prints, doesn't matter, but just not these two prints. And we're gonna sew them together like that. So I'm gonna sew them together. Again, with a right uh, on the right side with a quarter inch seam allowance. that thread doesn't cut. Then we're going to open it up and it's going to look like this. Then we're going to set them aside for a second. Then we're going to take the next two squares and we're going to sew them together like this. Stay with me. It'll start coming together in just a second. Now I've got this one sewn. I'm gonna iron these flat. I'm back at the ironing station and I'm gonna iron it flat. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other two pieces we sewed together. And then we're gonna take them back over and sew them together. Now that we've got them ironed flat, we're gonna lay them back out. That one's at the top, this one's in the center, and this one's right here. So now I'm gonna lay them right sides together, line up those middle pieces, the seams, with rolling it up like that till it meets the top. 
I'm going to pin that and then I'm going to sew all along this edge right here. And I'll sew with a quarter inch seam allowance. Keeping these lined up. Take the pin out before I get to it. Open it up and it will look like this. Then we're going to take this last piece and we're going to line it up on the bottom, sewing it together again with the seams lined up at a quarter inch again. And now what you've got is a unit that looks like this. Top, middle, bottom. And we're gonna keep making these units. When we put them together, I'll show you what it makes. But what we're gonna do is take these units, sew them together into this format. I'll have a bunch of this size section and then we'll sew them together. When you're sewing these units together, I try my best to get my seams to lay good, and I'll show you what I mean. I don't want them all facing the same way. Sometimes the fabric just wants to go that way and it's laying flat, I let it go. But for the most part, I try to get one seam going one way and one going the other so that it lays flatter right here in the bulk of the seam. Now that I've got some of these units put together, I'm going to put them together to make the rows. So here's one unit that looks like this. This is the top. This is the top. I'm going to put them right sides together. And then I'm going to pin them down this side. I'm going to line these seams up. And very carefully, I'm going to pin these and then go to the sewing machine. Lining all these seams here up. I'm going to go back to the sew machine and I'm going to sew down this long side a quarter inch seam again. that I've got these two units together. You'll see what it looks like. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take these the points that are pointed up as the top, flip it together, line it up. You can pin it if you need to or don't if you don't. Line these seams up. So all the way down this side. Then I'm going to do 
the same thing again. I'm going to grab another unit. My triangles are pointing up at the top, which, by the way, it's the same thing either way. You can do it that way or you can do it that way. It doesn't matter. There's really no correct way, except I don't want these two yellow side by side, so I'm going to put it this way. to line these points up, these meeting points. doing it six units wide so this being a unit I'm gonna sew six of these together to make a row and when I do that I'll come back to you now I've got two units like this that are six this was one unit right here and I've got six of them sewn together in a row and then I've got another six unit row so I'm going to take them and put them right sides together, upside down, and I'm going to sew the two rows together. And I'm going to do the same thing where I pin right here at these points where they meet. I'm going to go all the way down and pin these all the way down this row. And then when I sew them together, you'll start seeing the pattern of what the quilt's going to make. So let me pin all these down the whole row, sew this line on, and I'll show you what it looks like. I brought it up here to the front to show you so you could see a little bit better what it turns out looking like. This is your one row from the back and then this is what it looks like when you open it up and you've sewn it together it starts making this pattern hope you can see it good turns out real cute see the weave look and now I'll keep sewing until I get more rows and as big as I want to get it and then I'll stop and I'll quilt it so stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like when all the rows are sewn together so these were the units that you put together into rows like this. Then you added another row and another row and it turns out like this. So this is what the quilt's gonna look like. Now to iron it and get it on the long arm. Haven't decided how I'm gonna long arm it yet, what design, but I'm liking the look of this one. So. One project out of my UFOs is finished, and now to start one of the other ones. There's plenty to look through in that stack, so one project done. And there you have it. So like always, like and subscribe. Let us know if you have any questions or comments or need questions and answered or anything. Let us know. We'll, we're here to help you, and until next time... Happy quilting.